When you're using Windows 10, you may have more than one audio device. You may have, for example, a headset, a USB headset that you plug in, and you want your audio to stream into that, but it keeps streaming out of your um, speakers, right? Your external speakers. So let me show you how to fix that. Click on Start and type in Sound, and you should see Sound Settings as an option. Click on Sound Settings. And then under output here, it says choose your output device. There is a little drop down here. So uh, here right now, uh, speakers, high definition audio device, that's the built-in sound card for this machine. But I also have this USB audio device and I'd like to switch to that. So I can just select it from the list, right? And it'll take a moment to initialize. And then now it is on that audio device. And you'll notice that the volume actually tweaked a little. It, it moved down a little bit as I did that. So each device has its own um, volume setting, right? So that's something also to be aware of. Uh, if you switch to a device and it was muted last time it was used, uh, it may not appear to be working because it's muted. And even though you had audio you know, two minutes ago with your other device, you may have to unmute it, right? So there's also a uh, troubleshooting area here if you're having trouble with the device so you can go through and you know check the driver that kind of thing there's a manage sound devices link right so uh, here's where we could you know click on each of these we can test or disable them right we can uh, you know do the same thing with the each one of these audio devices has its own microphone right so uh, that's the the area there and then, um, of course, here's this is we're talking about sound output up here. There's also you can you can have each device working. You can be having input through one device and output through another, right? So you might want the output through your main speakers, but input through the mic on your headset, right? So we can switch that kind of thing down here. There's also a test your microphone area, right? Um, troubleshooting, etc. And there is an advanced sound options area. So if we click on that, then we get, uh, you know, the master volumes for, uh, you know, your devices. We can tweak which devices we're working with here in the drop downs, right? We can reset to recommend defaults. Now, if you want even more uh, sound options, click on your start button and type in the word control. And I'll bring you to the control panel, right, where you can find sound. Uh, you choose small icons, view by small icons to get the same view. If you click on sound, then you've got your, your bits here. So say here's the USB device. I can click on properties and then there's there's levels here that I can tweak, like here the microphone is way down, right? I can I could bring that up if I needed. Uh, there's different enhancements that you can do, bass boosting, room correction, etc. There's an advanced tab for choosing the quality of audio. You can do a little test here, right? Op options about how the device is shared, right? And then there's a spatial sound area that you can play with and see if it helps improve anything uh, for your audio experience, right? So each, on both playback and in recording, each device will have its own properties, right? That you can manage, right? And um, there's also a little configure button here. And this gets you into speech recognition experience, which is beyond the scope of this video. But if you wanted to play with that, that's in there. And also in this uh, sound area is uh, the area for managing the system sounds, right? So um, if you don't, if you don't like the silent startup, that's the, now the default with Windows. You can have it play the Windows startup sound, right? And then there's all these uh, bits that come with your seat, your sound scheme, the Windows default, all different uh, reminder noises, etc. If you find those annoying, you can choose no sounds and apply that and then your computer will be uh, you know much that much quieter right and then there's a communications area here where you can manage uh, what happens when 
you know, a call is coming in on a device that uh, allows you to communicate with the outside world, you know, if you're playing music, what's going to happen, right? So here it's set to reduce volume of other sounds by 80%. You can have it do nothing or you can have it mute all the other sounds or drop to 50, whichever you prefer. So hopefully that has given you a bit more power over your audio settings. Thanks for watching.